Hello and welcome back to the Ash and Stone channel. My name is Chris and today I'll show you how I'm going about painting my one page rules plague demons as sickly nexuses of decay. But first a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Your continued support is very much appreciated. Inspired by shelf mushrooms that consume trees I start with a leather brown spray undercoat from Army Painter to put a suitable base down. This is followed with an overbrush of Vallejo Off-White over all of the fungal armour areas. If you wanted to start with a black undercoat, you would just paint on the Off-White normally rather than overbrushing it. Army Painter's Strong Tone is used to shade the Off-White, making sure we get it into all of the recesses. Once the wash is dried, off-white is dry brushed back over the fungal armour to pick out all of the high areas. Vallejo white is then used with a fine brush to pick out the model's tusks and eyes. A small amount of Citadel Hex Wraith Flame is painted over the eyes. It pulls into the recesses, giving the eyes a bright green glowing look. Vallejo Dark Earth is used to paint all of the areas of... skin? Basically anything that's not weapon or armour. Arms, legs, back and neck. I also pick out the bottom jaw and the belly. The loincloth is base coated with Vallejo Armour Brown to give us a muted red brown cloth. The axe haft is given a base coat of Vallejo Charred Brown. And the ropes, wraps, bones and various belt paraphernalia are base coated with Vallejo German Camouflage Beige World War II which gives us a sickly grey green beige. Once all of the base coating is done, all of the areas of dark earth, beige and brown are given a wash using Army Painter's Strong Tone to shade them. Dark earth is used to reapply the base colour to the areas of skin, leaving the wash shading the recesses. And by mixing in a little German camouflage beige World War II, we get a highlight that we can apply to the high points of the skin. German Camouflage Beige World War II is used to highlight all of the areas that we base coated with the colour earlier. I also pick out the toenails and fingernails, which are then highlighted with a little off-white. Vallejo Dark Flesh Tone is used to highlight the cloth, leaving the darker brown in the recesses. The metal axe blade is given a base coat of Vallejo Natural Steel. Then given a coat of Army Painted Grim Black to give it the dark forge blackened look I'm into right now. Once that's dry, I give the axe blade a wash using Vallejo Rust Wash. Focusing it around the veins or tendrils on the axe and then a light dry brush of Citadel Riser Rust to corrode the blade a little. Vallejo Burnt Cadmium Red is used to base coat the tops of all of the mushrooms. They are all over the place, so take your time poking around to find them all. When that's done, I highlight them using a little Vallejo Fire Red. The off-white comes out again, and I put a few dots on the top of the mushrooms to get that spotted look. And I also pick out the edges of the shelf mushrooms along the back of the axe. We are all but done, so I give the model a spray of Tamiya Flat Clear to seal it and remove the shine from the washes. 
Plague Warriors have poison attacks, so I use Citadel Nurgle's Rot to apply a layer of sickly green ooze to the edge of the axe. You want to apply this fairly thick as it tends to fade away as it dries. Then it's time for basing. I do my usual grout and paint the rim black before applying static grass. I apply spring to the front of the base and then use dead grass around the figure to represent the plague demon's presence killing the plant life around them. I left them in the static grass machine for a little bit long though and the spring ended up being rather overwhelmed. Better luck next time. More Nurgle's Rot is applied to the static grass when it is dried to add patches of sickly ooze to the landscape and I mix black with gloss varnish to create a shiny black ochre which is also splattered around on the grass. And there we are, some sickly looking warriors of decay, a blight upon the landscape around them. Hopefully that's helped out, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and we shall see you next time. Cheers!